and welcome back. Welcome where where it's been just a little while, you know, a few few months weeks and or months. But hey, we're back. We are playing Legend of Zorda Breath of the Wild. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> Oh man, I know it's 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 been far too long since we've since we've done this, and it, we we feel terrible. Do we? Well, I do at least, cause you do. Cause, yeah, cause like we 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 were in like the midst of moving, and then of course the whole uh, beer flu happened. You, you say that, but you realized we we stopped way before that. See, that's the excuse I'm going with, thinking that it, <laughs> that I already knew that it was going to happen, so... The beer flu and the moving? What... Yes. Well, Trevor, I'd like you to open your eyes. Oh, uh, uh, hello, Blue. Wake up, Link. Oh, there he is, the beautiful naked boy. He's a good naked boy. I'm... <sighs> With puppers in the I think I have to leave. <laughs> yeah, that's totally fine. I will describe the situation. So Link has emerged from a hundred year bath. His skin has got to be super pruny. That can't be good for you. Like you need your skin needs moisture, but I think hundred years is too much moisture. I'm surprised he can still walk though. After after that long sitting in probably what might be a salt bath where you're just floating there. I'm surprised. Okay, and here we go. Looks like it's going. This is great, by the way, darling. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm did, did you hear my uh my prune bit? I can hear all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, and he's got he's got his ancient iPhone 11. Is a Sheikah snake. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Nice. Chris, does that thing like dispense coffee or something? Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, here's like a triple shot espresso. Have at it gonna be good i'm so sorry i'm getting bombarded with every single end people <laughs> so i'm going to be in and out of conversation you're going to be stuck with only trevor but i'm here yep and my dumb topics that i decide to talk about <laughs> yeah yeah i didn't hear that last one because the pizza place decided to phone me and tell me that no one was coming to the door while they were at the door <laughs> Science, nice people. Science. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah, these are a chest full of clothes, aren't they? That we're not going to use because we like the nakedness. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. Naked boy, naked boy. Only here for a naked boy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like uh, that yes. Would solve... Sorry, go. It would solve a lot of problems, you're right. It would solve all the world problems. If we all just decided to be naked, it would solve all of the world problems. <laughs> we'll stop the, the beer virus by being naked. Exactly. Which it, I'm pretty it, sure it half the world it. has. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> ah, well. It's unfortunate, but it seems like we're starting to get on the mend now, so... Our area, is okay. our area is pancake pancaking. Yes. A lot of places are not, though, because the way the virus works and it takes two weeks to incubate, I'm pretty sure yeah. this pancake's going to spike in a sec. Oh, you know? absolutely. Wait, I, I keep on saying that, like, the second wave is coming. It's just a matter of time. Uh, let's have this nice panoram shot. Look at that. Oh, yeah. With the naked yeah, boy. Uninterrupted. Yep. Naked panoramic shot. It's gonna be great. 
yard hop. Yeah, by the way, I don't hear any of the music whatsoever. I'm totally just going in deaf. I did try to fix that. Going on. I did try to fix that, but um, I cannot send sound through the application I'm using. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, that's fair. That's okay. It's one of I could if we were playing a game on the computer, I could do it. Oh, but because this is on Switch. Yeah, I can't send Switch sound through the app that we're using. Okay, that's fair. I'm sorry. But, uh, I, I don't think Trevor mentioned it, but, uh, there is a, a weird part about this game that we're gonna, we're, we're doing. So Trevor hasn't really played it. No. No, I've only seen, like, a few playthroughs, but I wasn't really paying attention to it either. So, I have the remote because quarantine deems it so. And Trevor is gonna be our brain. Yes. Yes, yeah, so... She, Kira will be controlling our Nikki hero here, but like all the choices and like where we're going is purely on me, so it's it's gonna be interesting. And like most things, if uh, you le leave your body unattended, it will just make sheer chaos. <laughs> exactly. What the apple? Are we gonna do this again? Yep, let's do it. I mean, for the first time. For the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's not talking right here, is he? No, he's not. Sadly, he not doesn't make us an old man voice. Ah, you want to be an old man? You're already oh, halfway there. I'm I'm already there. <laughs> sure, oh, be our old man. Forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Your supple leg. <laughs> Please help yourself. An apple and open flame make for a succulent treat. Much like your succulent bit. Now, it's a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. <laughs> uh, who are you? Hmm. Me? I'll spare you the life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now all oh, these old bones i hope you'll permit to be a question if i may be so bold are you not chilly where are we answering a question with a question that is fair enough as i cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence i shall tell you this is the Great Plateau. Just about read that wrong. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Yeah, you see that over there? Never mind what just happened here. The temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Sorry, I had a bit of a stroke there. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Glorious. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. I loved it. X! <laughs> tried to throw in as, as much of uh, improv stuff that I could throw in there, like the grunting and whatnot. It's how we roleplay. See, that will be good when you learn to play the D&D. &D. See, I know. I've already got the dice. I just need to know how to make a character, and then I can go from there. Well, after this, we can, we can walk you through a character. How about that? Yes. Yes, let's absolutely do that. Because I'm just like... And especially because, like, Chris keeps, keeps sending me a bunch of different characters that they've made. And I'm just like, I, I, I want these. I want to make one. And she, and they keep, um, like, make, 
making art for them as well. I'm just like, oh, I'm, believe I'm me, I know. As well. Sweetheart, <laughs> do you get them I get, as well? I get all of them. I have all of them. <laughs> all of have them. You see, have you seen her ginger one? Yes. I. Which wait? Which oh. one? Which ginger one? There's multiple ginger ones. Um, there's a, there's a newest one who's like a dwarf, I think. Oh, um, actually, you know what? I think they sent that to me last ages. night while I wasn't home. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my god, she's adorable, and she's got the freckles, and oh, uh, I have love gummies it. on my screen right now. <laughs> Not that oh, gummies on your screen. I got bored, and made candy. Um, oh, that's fair. But because Canada is Canada, uh, they are special candy. Oh, yes, of course, yes, and we can get away with it, and it makes things a lot more interesting. <laughs> yeah, so, um, side note as well, uh, I have them sitting here, but I made dice molds to make candy. Right, you told me about that, yeah. Or you told me you made gummies, at least. Well, I'm, go I'm gonna. I want that stick, thank you. Um, <laughs> Give me your stick. So do we want to go where the magic voice told us, Brain, or am I just going to murder in my underwear? Let's murder some more in the underwear and then we'll make progress. Okay. <laughs> I do enjoy underwear murdering. Murder? Murder. Murder. Ma murdering. <laughs> murder. <laughs> Let's get a pair Just be extra, extra British pretentious and be extra British pretten pretentious. Murder. Holy shit, that was really hard to say. Oh, I love underwear measuring. <laughs> <laughs> it's underwear man. It's favorite pastime of mine. Oh, I missed. Still missed. So, stay still. Oh my god, come on now. There we go, smack him in the butt. I, I was trying to do a jump attack, but I uh, could not aim. Yeah, fair. Good butt slab never hurt anybody either, so. I got more pants. Hey, ah, uh, pants are for squares. Thankfully, we're human shape. <laughs> Very true. Alright, is there anything more to murder, or shall we make progress now? Probably. Well, I think there's more to murder in the direction we're going. Okay. Bonus. I'll go a little bit roundabout to do a little extra murder. How about that? Yeah. Extra murder. Yeah. <laughs> Extra under murder. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> huh? Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. I see a rock. Rock usually means murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, don't mind if I just shove this off the ledge. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Perfect. Goodbye, sirs. Oh, I got both. Nice. Uh, that's just a one-shot kill, eh? Uh, if I dropped a giant steel boulder on you, I'm pretty sure you'd die too. Well, I mean, yeah, but that, I'm I'm a I'm a human. They're like goblins. They're mob. Or bacoblins or whatever. Bacob, I believe those ones are bacoblins. Yeah. Um. So, um, actually, what it is is the red ones are the weakest. Oh yeah. Okay. And, and if I remember like, correctly, it scales to how many shrines you've done, and we've done zero. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, okay. Do they, like, change color in difficulty then? Yeah, there are red, blue, black, and silver. Ooh, I didn't know there was a silver one. Silvers are, like, super ultra rare, and they stop, they drop, uh, special items. Oh. Guys, we got a sword. A real sword. Well then. But you know, I'm Undy yes. Man. I need club. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to do some more murder before I activate this? <laughs> murder? Uh, I feel like, oh, well, we got to get rid of those two since they're right there. I mean, they're just asking for it. Just sitting there minding their own business. Oh, butterfly. <laughs> we'll catch some later and we'll put them in our trousers. Yes. Love it. Trouser flies. Trouser no. <laughs> Trouser flies. Oh, yeah. Trouser flies. Trouser flies. Trouser flies. <laughs> oh, he saw me. 
Oh no! Oh no! Beat him! Hit him in the butt! Yeah! I got a oh. bow! Hey, you got a bow. There we go. Now this is how I play the game. With the bow? Oh yeah. Yeah. I like the bows. Nope. I went right over his head. Still missed. There we go. Now I got some arrows. We're good. I'm happy there with my go. life. Alright. First, is this a dungeon then? Or is it a... It's a... Uh, it's the thing that activates everything. It's a tower. Oh, I call them towers. Right. Yes, We're gonna okay. go into the sky. Yeah. Into the sky we go. Yeah, we're going to present ourselves to the sky. Our mm -hmm. nakedness to the sky. <laughs> when in doubt, children, <laughs> present your naked body to the sky demons and they will either cherish or not. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one. You'll either know. be chosen or you'll be stricken. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh no. And if you're especially okay, lucky, you'll be plucked from the sky. <laughs> disclaimer, don't actually present your naked self to the sky. Bet you'll you'll get arrested for that. Square. Actually, if you do it in your own home, it's fine. Oh, own oh, home. Fine. Absolutely. Do whatever yeah, so you there's want. A, uh, there was a blue one on the screen. A blue one. Um, the cobbler. Oh, uh, I just missed it. Yeah, it was, it was right after the I screamed squirrel. I'm not looking at the screen. God dang it. It's after I screamed squirrel. Yeah. If you guys hear weird oh, noises, by the way. Oh, that one activates all of it. Hey. Yeah, so the tower will pretty much activate all of everything. So the shrines are accessible. Other towers are accessible. Yeah, okay. If you guys hear weird noises, my cat has completely stolen my other chair. My table chair. It's hers now. Yeah. And uh, she's rolling <laughs> around on it. That's okay. I, I have the window cracked open a slight bit. So you might hear the odd... Hopefully you won't, but like... There's like alarms or whatever or like there's yeah you, you can hear my house kind of nearby <laughs> the but not really rest of my house <laughs> i mean that's true yeah i i just know with this cat because she occasionally screams when people walk by <laughs> and she's rolling around in the chair and making noise <laughs> just these they're just alerting you that there's people coming yeah she does that she screams whenever uh because i'm in hallway to a bedroom yeah she screams at whoever walks by and she doesn't even look up sometimes she's asleep and you'll just hear the tiniest Meh. I'll look over and the door opens I'm like what? <laughs> yeah. you're asleep oh are you ready for uh, the sky goblins to behold us? You have been asleep. oh yeah. Years. yeah so this oh, yeah, one this you do here talking, isn't it? yeah this is a uh, Zelda talking Oh, this is Zelda talk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, you never. Link still never talks. <laughs> Just making up voices for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that peaked everything. <laughs> I peaked myself, oh. but I started laughing. It was too good. <laughs> you Heather, must hurry, Link. You must hurry, Link. You must get the Triforce. Do it. I don't think you actually get the Triforce in this one. No. I don't think so. I don't recall ever getting the Triforce. A Zelda game without the Triforce? It's there, but like you don't have to go find your piece of courage. You technically oh. already have it, right? Oh, okay. Yes, yes, of course. It's like courage, wisdom, and power. power? Yes, you are correct. It is power. Yes. My limited Zelda knowledge comes in, t comes in handy. Yeah, this is this is weird for me because I've been playing Zelda since Arc Arena came out, and I was three years old. Oh yeah. Three years old. I've oh, been there playing. He is. There's your best friend. Yep. My my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. I see you've presented yourself to the sky. The tower and the others, just like it, have erupted across the land, one after another. Are you to blame for this? It's almost as though a long dormant power has woken quite suddenly. One could almost say that it shook the shit out of me. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? Yeah, we heard the voice. And I screamed a little bit, but it's fine. Well now, a voice, you say? 
Uh, did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? Um, yeah, let's do dot dot dot. It seems I have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. I mean, you only just met me and I was trying to hit on you as much as I could, but I mean, uh, the offer still stands. By the way, I assume you caught sight of that atrocity shrouding the castle, enshrouding the castle. Words are tough sometimes. I've All been hiding in my little... <laughs> that is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its power. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. You can hear its wailing from atop its tower every so often. <laughs> There it goes again for a century. The very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. What are you going to do about it, naked man? I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Uh, eventually. That's not an so option. That's not. <laughs> um, let's do dot, dot, dot. I'm curious. You need not say a word. Your eyes reveal the determination yeah. within. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to jump off, try and jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish, I might say. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, humble break, that would be quite another story. Hand it over. Oh, certainly, why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. You've got to do a little <clears throat> favor, if you know what I mean. What can you do with your feet? Let's see now. <laughs> How about I trade it for a bit of Trevor that slumbers nearby? Nearby. Words are tough. I see the rating for this is now rated R. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come, let me show you something. You'll enjoy it, I promise. Also, I hate you. Because when you screamed, I just shoved a cupcake in my face. <laughs> and I almost choked <laughs> on it. I was like, oh, I've got like a little packet of two bite brownie cupcakes here. Opened it, shoved one on my face, and you screamed. <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> Old man. Oh, do you see that structure there? The one shining with strange light? That's a disco. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I think it's one of those one of those special discos that you hear about on the TV. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? I think you should go check it out. Let me know what you find. Scope it out. Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. <laughs> Tell them Big Bill sent you. You might get a present. Oh, no. I love it. I hate it. Episode 1. R-rated. That's the title. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, you know, I do what I can. Thank you. I'm going to catch that fish. <laughs> I missed. A fish. A fish. Fish. I, missed. I did not. I still didn't get the fish. I need to get out of the water, though, before I drown. Oh, that entire bit made me tear up. I'm crying, and I might have to take off my glasses to play the damn game. I know. 
I'm so close, but if I do, then I can't see anything. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not as blind as you are. Yeah. Just to add on to, like, the old factor. You're just like, I'm old. My eyesight is terrible. I've started knitting. God. <laughs> just pile it all on. I fully embrace it. Give me the fish. Alright, got two fish. Um, got the fish. All do right. you want to do a fair bit of hunting before we enter uh, the disco? Yeah, I suppose we should. Let's, do, let, let's go see if we the can... the old man there for a second. <laughs> I didn't mean to. No! <laughs> Alright, we got 15 arrows. Oh, let's see perfect. if I can hunt. Let's see if I can hunt something. Oh yeah, there's like actual like wildlife around here too, isn't there? Hey, you can ride a bull. If we find a bear, I can technically ride a bear. You can ride a bear? Yeah. Oh my Anything god. Anything with right, that four... Is... Any quadruped that I can find that Link can fit on, I can ride. Well, that's just priority number one now. I gotta find the a bear. The main story is just a side quest. I don't think there's any bears on the plateau. I think we actually have to get... There's a bird. It flew away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not confident enough in my skills where my eyes are 100% watering to shoot a flying bird. <laughs> that but that true. boar, on the other hand, that's what we hey, want. Hey, there we go. I'll get that bird, too. Why not? Oh, that bird dying scared the boar off. Fuck. <laughs> oh, there's two boars. He's just wigging. Yeah, yeah. There's he's, one there too. I'm gonna try lost and headshot it. All of his shit. Yeah. Nice. There we go, guys. Hunting. Nice. I can do that. Naked boy can survive. <laughs> yeah. Who needs clothes? Oh no! Motion sensing is on. Oh no. Uh, oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was just like full on charges. Like, There's uh, different colors of animals as well. There are black boars, and they will 100% kill us. Lizard. Oh, yeah. Hey. It knew. It knew who I was. <laughs> Tried to run away, but no. No. All right, uh, shall we end episode one there? Yeah, okay. let's let's end this one here, and then we can start the second one going into the shrine. Yee. So I hope you all had a fun Yee. time, guys. Yeah. And we'll join fun. you next time on Adventures of Nicky Man. Yeah. <laughs> Nicky Man in the Disco Palace. Let's go. 